Okay, same problem, different rule. So what I have done here is I have put both the trapezoidal rule and the Simpson's rule up on the screen. Remember that if you were to find the area of an irregular shape using the trapezoidal rule, you'd take the distance between the parallel lines and divide that by two. Then you'd open the parentheses, then you'd put in the first, the length of the first line, 10.1, plus 2 times this one, and 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 2 times this one, finally 2 times this one, and then just add the last line in, y sub n. Well, Simpson's rule kind of curves out the edges of these shapes that we're adding together essentially by the trapezoidal rule. In Simpson's rule, you take the distance between the parallel lines and you divide by 3 this time instead of dividing by 2. So the 6.9 would be divided by 3. You open your parentheses and then you sum up the, the length of the first line, the 10.1. But now instead of 2 times and 2 times and 2 times, would you notice the pattern of 4 times the next line, 2 times the next line, 4 times the next line, 2 times the next line. So it's always the first line plus 4 times, then 2 times, then 4 times, and then 2 times, and then 4 times, and then 2 times. But let's go way back here to the end. The last line is going to be called y sub n. There must be an odd number of lines when you do the problem. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lines. If that's the case, then the front end of this problem will look just like the back end of this problem. So here you have y sub naught, and here you have y sub n. Here you have 4 times y sub 1, so right before this you're going to have 4 times y sub n minus 1. Don't forget, that's the line before the last. That'd be the 25.8 is the line before the last one. And then in front of that, you'd have 2 times y sub n minus 2. All that means is if this was the ninth line, here 9 minus 1 is, this would be the eighth line. And again, if there were 9 lines, then this would represent the seventh line, because 9 minus 2 would be the seventh line. So again, the first one, 4 times, 2 times, 4 times, 2 times, 4 times, 2 times, 4 times, 2 times. But right at the end, you'll kind of reverse this 2, 4, and then a coefficient of 1, 2, 4, coefficient of 1. I'm going to take away this right here, and I'm going to let you see me putting the values in for this picture into Simpson's rule. So the height between the lines is 6.9. Divide that by 3. Then open your parentheses. Take your first value, which was 10.1. Then 4 times the next line, which is 26.5. And then 2 times the 31. And next would be 4 times the 32. And then 2 times the 30. And then 4 times the 28.9. And then 2 times the 29.5, and you're kind of getting used to this, so you know you got to go 4 times the 25.8, and you see you're at the last line, so you just have to add that last line in. No coefficient, remember, plus the last line. So I open my parentheses, I put the first line, I got the last line, and then 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. The one before the last has always got a coefficient of 4. Let's type this on our calculator. If you would please remember that when we did this doing uh, using trapezoidal rule, we got an answer of 1462.8. Since there are no units on this, we'll call those square units. So now let's type this using the calculator. So we have, let try to move this over here, um, 6.9, now divided by 3, not by 2 open parentheses. Again, it's pretty easy to just put it in as you see it. There are shortcuts to this. I'll demonstrate this um, at another time. But 4 times the 26.5 plus 2 times the 31 plus 4 times the 32 plus 2 times the 30 
plus 4 times the 28.9. Oops, I can see that I just forgot the time symbol or missed that, so I'm going to go back and grab that times the 28.9. I might look and see if I didn't make any other mistakes. Looks okay. Um, plus 2 times the 29.5 plus 4 times the 25.8 and finally plus the last line which was 6.5 close my parentheses remember I got 1462.8 before I'm gonna hit enter 1495 Simpson's rule usually results in a little bit larger answer um, because of the rounding, the edges, if you will, it's based on a calculus proof. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. So 1400, and I think it was 95.92 units squared. Now, I'm just going to show you one last thing about where the trapezoidal rule came from. I can't do that with the Simpsons rule with you. If you are not as interested in the proof, you're welcome to kind of just stop the video and go ahead and do some homework from Chapter 2, Section 5. But I would like to show this proof to you if you might be interested. So, this is what happened. Um, we drew some parallel lines through this irregular shaped figure. And what the mathematician who created the trapezoidal rule did is noticed that if I have all these parallel lines here, I could sharpen out the edges. So draw a straight line right there and a straight line right there. And what I've got is, I'm going to go back to a pencil, I've got a trapezoid right here laying on its side, this space right here. Remember that we called this y sub naught and we called this side y sub 1 and the distance between the parallel lines was the height. So what the person who developed the trapezoidal rule did said, well, the area of a trapezoid is the height divided by 2 times the sum of the bases. So when I write the area of this red area trapezoid, I would write the height divided by 2 times the sum of its bases. And then I'd go ahead and add another trapezoid here. This is the blue one. It almost looks like a parallelogram, but nonetheless, it can be called a trapezoid because it's got two parallel sides. And now I'm going to write a formula that will show the area of this blue space. Remember that this is called y sub 2 right here. So the area of this blue is the height divided by 2 times the sum of its bases. And you know y sub naught, y sub 1, y sub 1, y sub 2. If I did this again, I'd go right here. And I'm looking at finding the area of this now this green space and so it is a trapezoid as well and I take h divided by 2 times the sum of its bases which are y sub 2 plus y sub 3 and I'd keep going. Well let's check this out. If we distributed this h divided by 2 times each of the terms in the parentheses in this black group here I'd have h divided by 2 times y sub naught and h divided by 2 times y sub 1 right here I'd have h divided by 2 times y sub 1 and then I'm gonna get rid of the parentheses I don't really need that and then h divided by 2 times y sub 2 by doing that right there and if I did it again I'd have h divided by 2 times y sub 2 and h divided by 2 times y sub 3 etc. Alright so now I want you to notice that each and every one of these terms had an h divided by 2 in them. Every one of them. So I'm going to factor that out now. So I will factor out an h divided by 2 out of each one of those. And right here I'll have a y sub naught. And right here I'll have a y sub 1.
And right here, I'll have another y sub 1. And right here, I'll have a y sub 2. And then right here, another y sub 2. And so on. Remember, this goes on and on and on. Thus, the formula for heroes, uh, I'm sorry, trapezoidal rule is h over 2 times the first line plus 2 of the y sub 1s and then 2 of the y sub 2s and I would have 2 of the y sub 3s and finally 2 of the line before the last and then in the last trapezoid I only use its base once. Very good. Um, Areas of irregular shapes using trapezoidal and Simpson's rules.